Hey everyone, Johnny Boy here, and welcome to the Rune Factory for Level 1 Walkthrough. Just like the name suggests, I'm going to be going through the entire game at Level 1, which is done by activating a special order which prohibits any experience gain. I still do, however, get skill experience, which gives me some minor stat ups, but it's nothing compared to what I would have gotten if I leveled up normally. Don't be fooled though. Even though parts of this game may look easy, and I may make some of the parts of the game look easy, this game is going to thoroughly kick my butt especially near the end of the game. Heck, I'm probably gonna get my butt kicked in the beginning of the game. So that means I need to do two things. One, grind, and two, pull out every single trick I know about this game to succeed, which includes forging, rarity forging, cross forging, skill grinding, exploit some glitches that are known throughout the game, and show you guys some new things that I have never shown you before. So now that we got the introductions out of the way, let's get started. Spring, day one. Weather, fair skies. Norad Express, destination Selfia. I'm flying out, baby! This choice will make you a male character. Do you want a male character? Choose no to reselect. Yes, I want to be a male character. This ship is heading to the town of Selfia. That town is famous for its... God. And I am now trying to deliver this gift to her. Wouldn't it be goddess? If it's a female? I don't know. I don't have much time. Excuse me, how close are we to Selfia? Oh, we're almost there. Are you setting out to do a bit of sightseeing? Yeah, something like that. It's a really nice town. Beautiful air and scenery. It's got a great atmosphere. You can feel the protection of the gods just standing on them roads. You'll enjoy your stay for sure. I hope so. Psst, can you hear me? Yes, sir. By the way, what are we doing? What kind of idiot are you? You don't even know why we're here? Well, you always get mad when I ask. What? No, nothing, nothing. We're here to see that person. Over there, see? It's completely dark in here. Look through the hole, dumbass. Oh, yeah! <sighs> Audible sigh. <laughs> I see, so that's mad. Wow, I butchered that sentence. We're going to make our move. You ready? Yes, sir! Huh? <laughs> We're taking over this ship now. If you don't want to get hurt, do what we say. Got it. 
Just give us a thing and we'll let you go. That thing you're about to give to the native god. Dragon. How do you know about that? Well, you'd be surprised what a little research will turn up. How could you possibly... Who are you? This gift is very important. I won't just hand it over to a total stranger. It's alright. I've trained for emergencies like this. First, I press L to open the L pocket. Equip the broadsword and attack by pressing B. You want to fight, huh? Fine, let's do this. Yes, sir. You know, these guys say they want to fight. I don't recall them ever attacking me. Maybe they do. Hmm. Oh, hey, we got a swing. You know, I've never seen what happens if they, I actually let them kill me. Maybe that would be something I'd do eventually. But that would probably take way too long. I don't feel like doing it. How do these people know about this? Anyway, if someone's after it, I have to hurry. <laughs> Not so fast. You know, you straight up chop me. I'm pretty sure I'd be dead right there. Up. Wake up already! Finally. Phew. So, what are we gonna do again? Just shut up and watch. Now then. It's time you told us where that thing is hidden. Or else. Who am I? Who are you? Where am I? Huh? I... Who am I? Hey, say something. But... But I thought you told me to keep my mouth shut, sir. Whatever, just do what I say! Such a tyrant. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Uh, who are you? Hey, are you trying to play dumb with us? No, um, I really don't know. I'll ask you again. Where the hell is that thing you're holding? I swear I don't know what you're talking about. You. Sir, sir. What is it? I thought I told you to shut up. Sir, it might be amnesia, sir. What? Are you saying that little blow to the head caused that amnesia? Sir, I don't know, sir, but maybe? Hmm. Uh, what? Perhaps, uh, it is amnesia? How could you lose your damn memory so easily? You shouldn't cry over spilled milk, sir. I know that! Damn it. No, wait a minute. How do we know you're not just playing us like fools? This could be a trick. A dirty, rotten ploy. Huh? Oh, good point, sir. All right. Take this fool over there, and we'll see if a little spot of threatening brings out the truth. Understood, sir. What? Hey, hey stop! Uh, what exactly do you intend to do with me? Well, I'm going to... Uh, sir? What is it? How do threats work again? You... Just use the altitude! How? Do I have to explain everything? Threaten to kick this bull off the ship! Uh, like this? Oops. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Who the hell told you to kick it? <laughs> uh, I gave up on that line at the end of it. Hear me. What should I do? Hmm? What? 
Did someone just fall from the sky? A person? Hey there, are you alive? Hello? You aren't dead, are you? Ow. Ow. Whoa! You are alive! Barely. Are you injured? I just fell like 5,000 feet from the sky and landed on a pointy horned dragon. I'm peachy. Well, my back hurts. But that's all. Only back pain after falling from the heavens? Just what kind of body do you have? What is it? A talking dragon? Huh? Well, all right, I suppose introductions are in order. <clears throat> I am Ventus Will, the Divine Wind. One of the legendary native dragons governing this world. And I do not care if you've fallen from above. You have no right to permit... You have no right to enter this chamber unpermitted. What is your name? Me? Lady Ventus Will! What in the world was that noise I just heard? Ye gods, who is this knave? Wait, full cannon? But... I said wait, we are talking now. Yes, ma'am. So who are you? Well... I'm gonna stick with the original name. Lest, I think? Mustn't give me a vague, non common common little answer. Say it clearly. Well, uh, that's the best I can do, I'm afraid. I can't remember anything else besides my own name. Oh my! You speak the truth? Yes, ma'am. I see honesty in your eyes. But amnesia? I'm so sorry for your loss! <laughs> I, I can't do justice to his cry, it's too perfect. You must be very confused losing your memory like this. But rest assured, I'll always be on your side! Get breathe! Oh! Uh. Wait a minute. Perhaps you're the prince we've been waiting for. Hmm. You do have an air of nobility about you. You must have lost your memory from the shock of the fall. Do you have any idea how or why you came to drop in from above? Well, you see... You said nothing. <laughs> Rebels. Then I suspected as much. They must be chasing villains. Wow. They must be villains chasing after the prince. You're right. This can't be a coincidence. Full cannon? Yes, ma'am. Prepare a room for the prince. Right away! Okay. Excuse me. Do you mean a room for me? Of course. But I didn't fall down with the intent to stay here. <laughs> no doubt. Huh? Who would intentionally fall from the sky in the castle roof? It seems the fates have decided your course. There is no need to worry, I assure you. You are here because you are meant to be here. But you shall live in this town, and perhaps in doing so, you may find clues leading to your identity. It seems the most logical course of action, wouldn't you agree? I'm not sure I would call that logical, but... Are you sure I can stay? Most certainly. Thank you very much. There's no need for that. However... I hope in addition to your own personal details, you've also forgotten the tone of voice I used earlier. Earlier? What do you mean? My way of speaking. You know only this, right? You've heard nothing else. Oh! You 
do sound a little different, come to think it. A little more... arrogant, I guess? Sorry. <laughs> so you do remember. Did you just click your tongue derisively? <sighs> if you've heard the other side of me, I suppose there's nothing I could do about it. Oh well. Uh, Lady Ventus will? Just call me Venti. Venti? Sure, why not? At this point, I don't care if you address me with respect. That ship has sailed. Furthermore, stop speaking to me so politely. It makes me rather uncomfortable. Talk to me like we're old friends, alright? Hmm. Yes, m m okay. Good. Now listen. This is important. Do not let anyone else know about this, alright? About what? The fact that I'm actually... Kind of informal by nature. Oh, so you're keeping that a secret? You tell no one, understood? Yes, the, the, the venti. <laughs> Lady Ventus will. The room is now ready. Well done. Your body must ache. Rest early today, Prince. Now, Lord Arthur, allow me to show you to your room. Arthur? Yes. I heard that name was the Prince... I heard the name of the Prince was Arthur. Hmm? But if that's the case, why would you call yourself by another name? Um... Am I really... A Prince? I see. Even the one thing you thought you remembered... It must be tough. Oh no, that's not what I'm saying. It's only natural that you would be a bit bewildered. I think it's best that you turn in early today. But... If you're a member of the royal family, your identity shall soon be learned. In which case, you would have to admit that you've forgotten your name. You can't. But I haven't forgotten my name. My name is Lest. Hmm. Lest. That's a hip with it sort of name. You may use that name for now, if you wish. But I'm telling you... I'll leave the rest to you, Volcanon. Of course. Now, Prince, let us go. I really don't think I'm a prince. Lest. Yes? Don't forget about the promise we made earlier. What promise? What? Have you already forgotten, you inconsiderate cur? About the way I talk! My secret casualness. Oh, okay, I remember now. Honestly. How could I have slipped up so bad? Be sure you keep that promise, or else. Okay, I will. Well, this is your room, Sir Lest. Allow me to explain your housing arrangements. I don't need to listen to you. Are you sure? It's quite important. Don't listen. All right, then. I'll leave you be. Rest well. Thank you very much. Please wake up. <sighs> Is she asleep? I could have sworn she was just looking at me. Um, please wake up. Good morning. Good morning? Why are you sleeping here, exactly? I was just wondering about that myself. I thought I came here for a reason, but I forget what it was. Oh, wait, now I remember. Volcanon asked me to come and wake you up. So, are you awake now? I... suppose so. Good morning, then. And nice to meet you. My name is Clorica, and I'm training to be a servant at this castle. My name's Lest. Hmm? But Volcanon told me your name was Arthur. Uh... no. My name is absolutely, definitely Lest. So please call me that instead. Of course, Lest. What a well-balanced name. 
Anyway, it's my pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet- Whoa. Nice to meet you too. I almost forgot. I made breakfast, so please eat it if you'd like. Apple pie for breakfast? Jeez. It's one of my favorite dishes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Press B to eat it. That was delicious. I'm so glad. Eat one meal a day and you'll become stronger and stronger. So don't forget to eat it every day. She speaks the truth. I'll be taking my leave now. Oh, but one last thing before I do. Last? Once you're fully awake, go outside using that back door. There's a field out there, and you're going to learn how to till it. What? Me? Till a field? Yeah. That's right. Lady Ventuswell left very specific instructions. She said, those who do not work shall not eat. Well, I am supposedly a prince, right? Yeah. That's right. So, a prince is going to till the field? Of course, who else would? I thought a prince was supposed to have a more of an elegant lifestyle. You can tell elegantly. Girl! According to Lady Ventuswell, you're perfectly suited to tilling soil. What does that even mean? I'm not sure. Well, I guess I should go out and find out. Finally, now that we're out of story, I'm going to show you guys a couple of tricks here. I know that I spent a lot of time talking, doing main story stuff. If you guys don't want me to do that, let me know. I'm just having a fun time doing it. So, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go into the back here, and I'm going to skip the story segment because... Well, I'm going to skip the training segment of it. Is that Emerald Ore? Huh. I might just keep that there. Until I can get a, I believe... It might be iron, it might be silver. It's probably silver. I'll have to check up on that later. <laughs> you are the prince, right? I've been waiting for you, prince. But wait! I still may or may not be the prince. So will you just call me Lest? Huh? Please? Yes. I see. Lest. What a beautiful name. Please allow me to formally introduce myself. <coughs> Good morning to you. My name is Vishnal. I am training here to be a full-fledged butler. Although at times I may cause you trouble, I'm honored to serve you, Lest. Nice meeting you. Why don't I start off by introducing you to the field? No, thank you. Huh? It's very important, so I really think you should listen. I somehow already know. If you say so. I understand. Then let me at least give you these. I got a cheap hoe. All right. Giggity. Cheap water pot. These are essential tools to farming. Although I couldn't be much help to you this time, please come talk to me if you have any questions, any at all. Thank you. Lastly, it's time to name this farm. Does this really qualify as a farm? Absolutely. By building monster barns and befriending your livestock, you can collect their milk and shear their wool. It will be a true farmland due in due time. Wow. You can also have the monsters help with your farm work. Now, please think of a name. Hmm. This one I might just... Hmm. Alright, let's see. Let's just call it... Sub farm. I'll give you a little insight as to why I called it that in just a minute. What a tasteful name. Farming is productive work. Your RP begins to decrease. When you use all of your RP, your HP will start to be good, will start being consumed instead, making you faint from exhaustion if they fall too low. So please be careful. RP can be recovered by eating, bathing, or sleeping. At first, you'll find yourself getting tired quite easily. However, as you get used to it, 
it'll be much easier to work. Before you go, I have a present for you. Turnip seeds. Thank you very much. You can buy seeds at the general store. If you'd like to grow more crops, that's the place to visit. Uh, and by the way, Lady Ventuswill is calling for you. The center path leads to Ventuswill's room. That should be the fastest way to get there. Now that we're done talking to Vishnu, I can finally show you guys a little exploit. Now, normally, as you can see by the little clock at the bottom, it's not progressing. At all. After this tutorial, you're supposed to go into Ventus Wall's rooms right away, and as soon as you're done with that, time would progress as normal. But as long as you're in this room, you cannot die, your HP cannot be reduced below zero. I mean, one, a zero would be bad. But you cannot die, your HP won't go any lower than its, like, lowest point, and time will not advance. If I, I probably already said that, and I probably sound really stupid right now, but the point is, you can exploit this by, let's say, eating every single thing in here, which is a good idea to get your eating up, getting poison from that, And also, what I'm going to be doing for a while now, I'm going to be throwing something into a corner and catching it repeatedly very fast so I can level up my throwing skill. This is going to take a while, so after I'm done eating everything here, I'll resume from where I left off. I'm going to try to get to about... No, I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to try to get to about level 20 in throwing. Believe it or not, it doesn't take that long. While I'm doing this, I'd like to talk to you guys about something. During this game, you're going to be collecting a lot of things like monsters and farm animals, and you're going to be making barns and fields and stuff like that, and they all get names. So in the comments below, if you'd like your name to be part of the series, let me know. I'll put it as a monster or something or whatever you guys feel like. It could be a name pertaining to a particular monster you want to see, like a woolly or a buffamo. Or it can be a field or a barn. I don't care. It's just if you guys want to. I don't mind. While I'm talking, I might as well tell you guys that this is just menial grinding. It will not be in every single episode. Anything from here on out will be either story or me showing you guys tricks and tips. Sometimes the tricks and tips may have to do with grinding. So if that's the case, then I'll show you a little bit of it and just keep moving on afterwards. Okay, now back to the game. Alrighty, I finished things up. I got about... Level 3 in water, 5 in earth, 5 in farming, 3 in walking, 2 in light, 2 in resist poison, and 14 in throwing. Resist poison is actually going to help me out. Uh, I think... what What is her name? Am Ambrosha? I think she poisons? I don't remember if she does or not, or if it's just a stun. I'm fairly certain it's a poison, though. What's this? I'm really not sure. I should examine it in more detail later. Anywho, let's get on with it. Morning. morning. Good morning to you. How goes the farm work? It's fun so far. You really are an Earthmate. Earthmate? Earthmates are those who can communicate with the Earth and with monsters. They have long been enriching through the Earth through farming. That bump in your head must have messed with you far more than expected if you've forgotten that. Well, let's do an experiment. Come closer. Okay. What are we doing? Perhaps I can bring back your memory with my power. Really? Really. Well, really-ish. Anyway, I can't guarantee anything. Let's try it. I mean, please, let me try. Please? Alright, alright. Come then. Let's go. <laughs> I love that little animation. It's so funny without a noise to it. I, I think I'm gonna just... Maybe I'll edit a noise in there every time she does it from now on. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. It's not working. So it doesn't work then, after all. I can't bring back memory unless I'm involved in it. Why don't you just give up? How could you possibly do that? I'd possibly do that. Well, at least we know that you're a prince. So you mustn't worry. We don't know that at all yet! We do so, you're just being stubborn. How about you go out and do some meet and greet with the locals? Someone might recognize your face. 
Oh, that's true. I'll do that right now. Wait, Lest. Hmm? When you're done asking around, will you come back here? Sure. Good. You may go now. One of the biggest things I'm worried about with reading these storylines is that I consistently change the voice. So, with someone like Ventus World, it'll just be like the voice I just did, like, Hey, how's it going? Like, it'll be that voice right now. But by the end of the game, it may be, it may be like, Hey, how are you all? How are you doing? Like, I, I am not good with consistent memory on things that I've done before. It's terrible. But, anywho. After this episode... Like, this is just... This is, I'm just about the end, uh, wow. I'm good with English. I'm just about the end of the episode right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this up, talk to the rest of the locals to get them to like level one. I'll probably be skipping that. Actually, you know what? I'll probably just do that at the beginning of the next episode. So after I'm done with the scene with Venti, I'll be wrapping it up. Well, it didn't work. I see, I'm very sorry. But don't be disappointed. There's still a chance that you're a prince. You can write a letter to the royal capital to confirm. And if all else fails, you can always start a new life here. It's not that easy. I know, but I'm very serious. And I think in time, you may find that it's the best course of action. Huh? This town is filled with warm-hearted people. They always welcome you with open arms. So there's no need to worry. Cheer up! Venti. More than that, excuse me. <clears throat> and who, pray tell, is addressing me? Yes. Arthur D. Lawrence, the 13th Prince of Norad Kingdom. I will be staying here in Selfia starting today. Lady Ventus will. I kindly ask for your guidance. Um, is something wrong? Are you the prince? Yes. That's right. I thought I sent a letter stating that I would be arriving today. See, I told you it wasn't me! There's no way I could be a prince! Be quiet already! Even a perfect being can make a mistake or two in life. Um... Oh, ahem. So you are the true prince, then? Well... How do I explain? I'm at a bit of a loss here. Ah, that's it! This person claimed to be the prince, despite having no corroborating evidence. We've never seen your face, so we had no choice but to believe this little troublemaker. What?! You're the one who kept insisting I was royalty! Shut up, you'll hear us! That's why we've given away the room which was prepared for you, I'm afraid. We beg your forgiveness. Oh my. We take full responsibility for our grievous error, and we will do what we can to make this right. Lest, I'm so sorry. I really am sorry. Will you stay at the inn for a while? I'll let them know for you. Okay. It's alright. I wasn't supposed to be here in the first place. Please wait. What will you do? Where will you go? Well, I'll stay at the inn until everything's settled. I'm sorry, Lest. Please, don't be. There's no need for that. Huh? This must have happened for a reason. Lest, was it? Will you trade places with me and serve as a representative of the kingdom? Do you realize what you're saying? I am well aware, yes. It's not a title you can hand over to a stranger, you know. Can't I? I honestly don't think it's that important of a title. Of course, I'm not suggesting that we trade our actual names or positions, just... Just what? What are you planning, exactly? There's something that I wish to do. But I can't do it if I'm busy running the town. So, will you take on my responsibilities? Wouldn't this be betraying your father? That's true. I'm prepared for that. Hmm. I can tell that you have a true passion within your heart. You have my permission. All powers and responsibilities of the prince will be given to Lest. What? Me? Well, they were your responsibilities anyway, until Prince Arthur appeared before us. We'll just say nothing's changed and leave it at that. 
Shouldn't be a problem, right? Please, Lest. Bow before me, peasants! You'll do it? Excellent. I knew we could count on you. Thank you very much. I will explain the duties of a prince to you in the coming days. For now, however, I must look for a place to stay. What? Huh? That's true. You should continue to use the room in the castle, since you are the acting prince after all. But don't worry, I have a talent for negotiating. I don't anticipate any problems. Now I must be off. What a dutiful young man. Why are you sighing? Playing the Royal Royalty is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, no? Life is short. If you pass up opportunities simply because of a little memory loss, they'll be gone forever. I will tell Velkanen and everyone else in town to support you. I can help too if you need it. Okay. I guess it could be a good experience for me. Positive thinking is always good. I knew I could trust you, Lest. Of course you say that now. So, what were you going to say earlier? Oh, yes, that. It was about the duties of a prince. Even though I'm not the one and never said I was. My, you are stubborn one. <laughs> anyway, let's discuss the matter now, shall we? In order to complete your duties as a prince, you must form connections with the other residents. This is the most important aspect in your role as a prince. So, does that mean I should make friends with the townsfolk? Friendship doesn't necessarily lead to a trunce as a prince. You don't ask all your friends to help you work, after all, do you? Yes, I do. So that's why you must be first trusted as a prince. And that's done by completing duties as a prince? Exactly. But how? There's a red box in the square outside of that door. That's a request box containing the collective requests of everyone in town. By answering these requests, your work will be recognized. So I should just keep completing the requests in the box then? Yes. That will help you quickly build a good rec- Wow. Build a good rec- Wow. Build a good reputation among your loyal subjects. I'm gonna start keeping a counter now. And the better your reputation, the faster your farm work will progress. Wait. How does that work? You'll see. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Why don't you go check and see what's inside the request box? Okay. Good luck. I'm gonna have like five different lists going on of everything that I've messed up in this playlist. Is this a request box? It doesn't look like a box. Oh, nice to meet you. My name's Eliza. Huh? Who was that? Where are you? What? You can hear me? I can, but I can't see you. I'm right in front of your face! Whoa! The request box is talking to me! Maybe I should go to the clinic. No, no, that won't be necessary. I'm Eliza, the request box. And I'm ever so glad you can hear me. Now listen up. Inside me is a list of all the important requests everyone has made. Because, let's face it, everyone needs some help sometimes. But you can't solve all of them at once. Oh no. So I'll help you solve them one by one. You got that? Okay. Yeah, you're quite smart. Let's start by trying it out. Try taking a request. Let's start with this request. Good, good. Well done. By the way, you can check your current request by accessing the notebook. The notebook is located at the bottom right corner of the lower screen. Trotch it to open it. If you find a request to be too difficult, you may cancel it from the notebook. Well, that'll be enough explaining for one day. Your head is liable to explode. Start by going to the castle dragon room right away. Alright everybody, I'm going to wrap it up here today. I just finished the request box thing with Arthur, and I'm going to be talking to the villagers in the off time. So next time, I'm going to be fighting Ambrosha. See you guys then.